Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Precious Metal Summit 2017 here in Zurich. And now with me here is Condor Gold and Mark Child, the CEO and Chairman, wants to give us an update. Mark, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you again. Yeah, great to have you here again. I think it's almost a year ago uh, when we uh, when we have uh, do, when we have done an interview. And uh, yeah, so I think a lot of good things happened so far. Maybe you can start with a little update on that. Maybe drilling, you've got financing in addition and stuff like that. Yes, that's correct. We, we have the twin strategy of permitting and constructing mm -hmm. the base case, 100,000 ounce per annum gold mine, and then adding another 1 to 2 million ounces to our existing 2.3 million ounces. Mm -hmm. So on the first part of the strategy, we have passed all the technical tests from the mm -hmm. government uh, in the EIA, the mm -hmm. Environment and oh, that's Impact important. Assessment. There was no problem? No, we, oh, we've got through everything there. There are 16 technical studies, uh, mm -hmm. they're pleased with those. Uh, we're now waiting on permits with the government. Mm -hmm. um, and we just had elections last weekend, uh, the mayoral elections, mm -hmm. uh, and we were told that things would start to move again mm -hmm. after after the election. So we're hopeful for something positive coming through. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So where where do you see the the time frame? Let's say for the next uh, set of permits, how long does it take? Um, we're we're very much in in the hands of the government, of course. Uh, yeah, and. One of the things I've done is to strengthen the management team. So a mine superintendent from uh, B2 Gold mm -hmm. um, joined us about four weeks ago. Wow. And that's from the El Limon mine, which is only one hour drive away. Mm -hmm. And he's very familiar with all the issues. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the challenges that we have on the project is some resettlement we have to do. Mm -hmm. And that's what's causing a delay. Um, the government is totally supportive of the project, but mm -hmm. it wants a bit more detail on resettlement and buy-in from the community. Mm -hmm. So for a while, the government said, uh, we'll take care of that, uh, give your resettlement plan to us, mm -hmm. we'll agree the resettlement plan, mm -hmm. and then we'll present it to the community. Mm -hmm. Which wasn't great, because it meant the community was didn't know what the plan was. Mm -hmm. And then the government didn't want to talk about it ahead of elections. And so we, we were a bit that, that's caused uncertainty in the community. Yeah, okay. You lost a bit of time. Uh, also, yeah, maybe, yeah. And, and this is caused a delay. This mm -hmm. is, well, there's always issues with permitting mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. in countries. But they've now said, right, okay, go and talk direct with the community. Do a mm -hmm. deal with the community. Mm -hmm. And that's come right from the presidency. Super. So the good thing is we can have dialogue. And mm -hmm. I've now got a new general manager of the mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm hopeful that we, 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 we're now past the worst on that. And we can just progress with... Uh, doing a deal with the community and uh, getting the permits. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. But I think you also had some good drill results in addition, yeah. right? Yeah, since we last met, mm -hmm. we've uh, we raised um, 5.2 million sterling, six and a oh, half. That's million. a lot of money. Yeah, nice. It's a good, it's a good yeah. vote of confidence. Super. Half of that from existing shareholders. Ross Beatty is now the mm -hmm. biggest shareholder. Um, and Which the is other shareholders good to have. put on. Good. <laughs> um, so, vote of confidence to, yeah. from existing. And the directors put money in, I put money in, Jim Mellon. Mm -hmm. Directors have 12% of the company, which is mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. unusual in our exploration yeah, yeah, company. Yeah, and we, we bought all that in the big stock commitment. market. commitment. Very, very committed to this, mm -hmm. to, to make it work. Um, since we last met, we put in 8,500 metres of drilling. Mm -hmm. um, we put 2,800 scout drilling mm -hmm. uh, in four different zones. That's just drilling the top of prospective outputs. Two of those came back very positively. Mm -hmm. Really good, which I, I won't go through the details now, but they yeah. were very positive. We need to follow up. Mm -hmm. About 6,000 meters um, was aimed at a vein set where we had a small resource of 300,000 ounces of gold at 7.5 grams. But in that same area, uh, there were 780,000 ounces, more than double, at 10 grams, 50% mm -hmm. higher grade, to a Soviet classification, mm -hmm. which was done in the 1990s. So our 6,000 meters of drilling has been testing the top part of that Soviet mm -hmm. resource. So, and we put some drill results out on Monday this week. We've got a high-grade ore shoot. Now, these epithermal vein systems, you get high-grade zones, low-grade zones. Mm -hmm. So, And what you're targeting is the high-grade ore shoot um, mm -hmm. because it's very, very concentrated. And we think there's at least 150,000 ounces of gold in that, oh, at, wow. at, at nearer 9 or 10 grams. Now, mm -hmm. that's the thing. It's the grade. Very economic. Yeah. Very, very economic. And I think just out of that ore shoot, you could see $100 million free cash flow. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important. And either side of the ore shoot, you get low-grade zones mm -hmm. because it pinches out and you should expect uh, weaker draw results uh, mm -hmm. as a result of that. But very encouraging very encouraging draw results that we've Super. had through. Yeah, fantastic, great. Um, so I would say money is not an issue. Drilling goes fantastic. The permitting yeah. is on the pass. Yeah, so so. What, where do you see, let's say, under the current circumstances uh, that we can say, okay, now we move into the production, we move into the construction phase? 
Well, we, we've said to the government that we need a green light from them that we got permits before we mm -hmm. go from pre-feasibility to bankable feasibility mm -hmm. study. So assume we're granted permits, we'll have 12 months of additional technical studies. Mm -hmm. And that'll be to bankable feasibility, some mm -hmm. more drilling. We finalize the ultimate pit shape mm -hmm. uh, and the locations. And things can change between mm -hmm. pre-feasibility and bankable feasibility Definitely, as you're yeah. doing a bit more technical work. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we firm up uh, settlement plans. And so we work. So the key point for us is in terms of production is, 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 a, is, is to do those additional studies. But once we get the green light. Of course, of course. In the yeah. meantime, it's better value for us to add another million ounces. Mm -hmm. So we have 2.3 million at high grade yeah. now, and that's what we're, that's what this 8,500 metres has been targeting. Mm -hmm. And we've also completed some geochemistry. We spent over half a million dollars in over the whole district, mm -hmm. uh, grid lines of 100 by 100 metres, 100 by 400 metres. And we've shown structurally it's very complex, and there's two major basement uh, feeder zones. Um, and we've got rock chips. This mestizo area, which we just drilled, is, is double in size. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got, from the, where the Soviet resource was, 780,000, mm -hmm. two kilometers away, we've got 51 gram ch rock chips. So mm -hmm. it's still not understood. It could be a lot bigger. And mm -hmm. that's, that's exciting the geologists on the ground. Yeah, I believe that it's also exciting me. <laughs> fantastic, good. Mark. I would say that was a fantastic update. Thank, Thank you. you very much on that. And uh, I think uh, we meet us anyway, maybe in London, maybe not, but uh, for sure PDAC. Okay. And then uh, we should do another uh, update. On, on the PDAC, yeah. we have approval for a, from the Toronto Stock Exchange for a secondary listing on the main board. Oh, congratulations. We've announced that a few days. So I Super. expect a prospectus to be filed within mm -hmm. two weeks mm -hmm. on CEDAR, mm -hmm. and then we get the listing there. And I Great. think we'll... I'm hopeful we'll get a re-rating on Toronto because our shares are about a quarter of the valuation of our Canadian peer group. So watch wow. out for that. Oh, you definitely have to do that. Thank you very much, Mike. It was great. And uh, keep it going. I think you're full on track. Good. Yeah, let's wait for the permits. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Mike Child, the uh, chairman and CEO of uh, Condor Gold. And you heard that everything is in good shape, enough money in the bank to fulfill the work programs, fantastic drill results. Uh, they are enlarging their resource and it will be a 100,000 ounce uh, per annum uh, yeah, starting um, production. And uh, yeah, now with the government, they have to deal, but I'm pretty sure they do it. They enlarge the team again with the right people. So everything is in good shape. And after they have the green light, they are ready to rumble. So check out the company. Thanks for watching us. Bye-bye from Zurich.